Nana here. In this video, we are going to see about how to enable a search dialog box in a list of values. I'll go on this radio. <laughs> so let us say I go to the order management. Let me create an order. Drop it down. I will now choose the US1 business unit now. Let me put the computer and the services. Let me put an item over here. Then let me add it now. <coughs> now I'm now planning for a drop ship now. I put on it. In this place I go to the supply. And then I populate the supply. It's a player now. Some ABC. So ABC consulting. Now in the supplier site, if you go on and have a look at it, if you go on and have a look at the supplier site, it will not show you the big list of values, but there is no search dialogue enabled actually. And if the list of values is too long, you would like to go for a search now. Now we are going to see in this video about how to enable a search dialog box over here now. <clears throat> One second. <clears throat> so let us now create a sandbox and then we'll now try to enable the search dialog box in the supply side. <clears throat> Likewise, you can do it by any of this thing now. So I go to the <laughs> navigator icon, I go there, I go to the more now. In the more against the configuration, I go to the sandboxes now. Let me create a sandbox now. In the configuration sandbox, click on create sandbox now. I will now say <clears throat> it's a springboard. It's not a springboard actually. I will now say sandbox. <laughs> yes, we sandbox 15. So let me take off it and then go there, click on space. And then let me enable the page composer for this now. Go down. So let me enable the page composer for it. And that's it. Fine with that. So go there and then click on create and then enter the handbox now. So SB15 is now entered as such. We are entering into the handbox with the page composer enabled. <coughs> the bottom is now saying waiting, waiting, waiting. So it's not that. So we can now see the SB15 has come over here now. Fine with that. Right. Now let us now open up the sandbox. Now we are in a sandbox environment. Click on the home icon. And then now let us now create a sales order. <coughs> This can be done for any field, wherever you want to incorporate the search button. So go to the order management. Click on create order. Drop it down. Use on business unit. Computer services and items. I will now populate the item over here. So because basically you have to fill up the fields before you uh, go into the sandbox editing actually. So click on it. And then I'll now fill up the field now. Click on supply now. And then I'll now say ABC. Something I'm putting in the file. Click on it now. I will not choose the value also. Okay, fine. I'm not choosing the value. Now at this stage, I will not edit the page. So having done this, what happens? You go there. I will now go to the edit page. The page is now filled up with all the, the mandatory fields must be at least filled now. Find the other fields. Okay, right now, now we are concentrating on the supply side actually. Filling up everything. And then I click on the <coughs> my name and then click on edit pages. In the administration, I click on the edit pages. I'm going to the edit, edit mode. So here in the edit mode, what happens? I go to the structures area. I click on the structures area. The top. Go there. And now let me click on my particular one. So I'm in this place now. So click on the supplier site. <clears throat> and then click on edit. It will go into the edit mode. So now we will now pull up this the bottom one. There is a thick, uh, it's called a black line is there. So let me pull it up. <clears throat> so since I have clicked on the supplier uh, site level, what happens? It has already got highlighted actually. Input combo box, list of values, supplier site. Fine, go there. Click on. Uh, uh, when you click on something and then go to the edit mode, what happens? It will be getting highlighted actually. You can even uh, navigate uh, the other places also, no problem. So click on that. It's called in the show the properties of the supplier site. There's a second icon, fine. There's a wheel icon with the edit uh, pencil now. 
point. Click on the show properties of the supply set, click on it now. And then if you go down and then see there are plenty of properties are there. <coughs> and then here, the show dialog will be there as such. <coughs> so required when the things are coming. <coughs> so the short description, the required. Uh, see, it is not exactly coming like not the show dialog. Dialog has to come now. Fine. So that's not coming here. Search dialog, sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. No, fine. There's a search dialog. So in the search dialog, it was it is none here now. Fine. Make it as a default. The search dialog, I'm not making it as a default now. Go there and then click on apply and then go okay. And click on apply and then click on okay. Now for this one, the search is now enabled actually. Now having done this, what I'm going to go there and now you know drop down the supplier search angular. Click on it. <laughs> Oh, Let me uh, close this one fine. The editing is now completed. I can close it now. So we go there. Editing is completed. Fine. Go the drop down. And that one now you can see the search has come. If I click on the search, the search has come. Now. So you can now search based upon your requirement. Now we have to implement it now. For which what happens? We will now publish this sandbox. So let us now publish the sandbox. Drop it down. And then publish. So click on publish now. This will, uh, you will be navigated to the sandbox status page and that one of us can publish it now. Click on it. So you have not saved the changes. It's okay because we are not really required to save any changes on this particular one. I'm going to click on publish now. So we are publishing it now and continue to publish. <coughs> Our idea is not to save the data on the on the field now, but to enable it now. Having done this, go down and then it's all published now. <coughs> So uh, I can now log out and log in and then have a look at it now. Sign out now. So click on confirm now. So sign in. And now <coughs> I'm showing you now. So go there and then I click on order management and then you go to the order management area. Now you click on create order. So in similarly, what happens is we can even make anywhere, even for this also, you can even make a search also if you want. Computer service methods. Yes, four six three three six. So click on add. So go to the supply. So I will put that. Value drop down. Now you'll have a search button. Here. The search dialog will now come over there. So there you can even make a search or you can even selectively search also. But then we have an advanced also. So this completes about how to introduce the search dialog in a list of values. You can even do it for any of the fields. I hope that this is of some interest to you and then some information to you, find some value addition to you. So why for you? By now, and then we'll now see on some other video. Nana here. And you can even write to me at uh, nana.app60 at gmail.com, or I have now created my own website, oraclenana.com. And then there, you don't join the discussion form there. Maybe, uh, many people will be there, and then it'll be many subject matter experts will be there. And then, if you have any doubts, somebody may even answer your questions basically. <clears throat> so, best wishes for you. And then, join the discussion forms at my website, oraclenana.com.